Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to talk about using the custom brush shapes inside of On One Photo Raw. Inside of the edit module, we're going to head over here to the local tab. Inside of this new local adjustment layer, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom of it, and we're going to choose paint with color. We can just select it to enable it. Now that we've enabled the paint with color option, let's choose a color to paint with. There's a few different ways we can choose a color. The first way is to select this color dropper tool, and we can choose a color directly from our photo. Or we can head into this rectangle, and we can use these different tabs to choose specific colors. Or what I like to do is use the color dropper within the colors dialog here. And that allows me to zoom in on specific areas and see their color values. So if I select this color dropper here, I can hover over different areas on my scene or even around Photo Raw, and I can choose those specific colors. I'm just going to choose this gray color at the bottom of my sky. So I'll close out of this colors dialog and now let's head up here to this top tool modifier bar where we can modify the brush settings. So we're gonna head in here to this shape menu. This is going to house all of the custom brush shapes that come with Photo Raw and all of the ones that you've imported. I'm going to go down here to the cloud shapes which come with Photo Raw and I'll just choose a cloud texture to brush it onto my sky. Now once we choose a brush shape, it's really important that we make sure our feathering is at zero. If we were to turn the feathering up to 100, it would look like a big blob on our scene. If you do want some feathering, you can modify the feathering a little bit, but I'd be subtle about it because it can turn into a blurry mess really fast. Then we're gonna head over to our opacity and our flow, and we're going to make sure that those are at 100 as well. Now we have angle. With angle, we can modify the rotation of our brush shape. So if I want to rotate my brush shape, I can use this slider here, or I can use a keyboard shortcut. The keyboard shortcut is Shift, Option, and then the bracket keys. So Shift, Option, bracket keys will modify the angle of your brush. So left bracket will turn it to the left, right bracket will turn it to the right. <clears throat> so I'm just going to increase my brush size a bit with the bracket keys on my keyboard, not using shift and option. And then I'll just paint this on my photograph. And you can see it's really subtle, but I'm using the color that's already in my scene to make it blend in and look more natural. You can of course use any different color that you want and you can choose custom ones from those color pickers. But to start off, I would recommend choosing colors from your scene. It'll make the clouds and other textures that you put in there look a lot more natural. Now I'm going to head up here to my shape menu again and I'll choose a different cloud shape. Let's choose this cloud shape here. And I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to rotate it a little more. And then I'll make it a bit bigger. Then I'll just paint it on again. And then we have another subtle cloud on our sky. So if I head over to my local adjustment, and I turn this local adjustment layer off and on, you can see it's painted those clouds onto my sky using that specific color that I chose down here. Now let's talk about painting in creative elements to your scene using the spacing within the brush shapes. So I've gone in and I've removed the adjustment layer that added the clouds to our sky, and I've just added in a new local adjustment layer. I'm going to double click the title to rename it, and I'll rename it Spacing. Now we can head down here to this Paint with Color option, we'll enable it, and now let's choose this warm red color on the hill over here. So I have this cloud shape selected, and I don't really want to demonstrate the spacing with this shape, so I'm just going to head up here to the shape menu, 
and I'll just choose a more common shape like this star. So with the brush shapes, we can either paint in one singular shape by just clicking one time, or we can click and hold and paint them in as if we were using a paintbrush. So if I just click and hold and drag across my scene, you can see it paints the shapes in like I'm using a star paintbrush. If we want more spacing between the shapes, we can head up here to our gear icon and we can enable manual spacing. The larger the number, the more space you give these shapes. So let's set it pretty high to about 80 or so. Now if I click and hold and I paint across my scene, there's a lot more spacing between the shapes. 